Greetings pen pals. As you can see, I've got a lot of pens here, but this is not a pen episode. This is our third annual red and green ink uh, episode for Christmas. So I got a bunch of red inks, a bunch of green inks. Some are uh, new ones, some are old ones from prior years, some you've seen before in uh, videos I've pr previously done, others you have not. But let's just get right to it and get going. I got a lot of inks to show all you folks, so uh, no time like the present. Okay, we're going to start right off with a bang. This is one of my absolute favorite inks. This is an ink that unfortunately I can't say the name of because it's in Dutch and I cannot pronounce it, but this is Ackerman. Uh, number 28. So it's a good thing that Ackerman um, numbers its inks in addition to uh, naming them. Great, great uh, uh, shade of green or with a lot of character to it. Really, really like it. Um, and this pen that it's in is a pen BBS uh, number 355. So it's Ackerman number 28. All right, another green ink. Um, this one's a classic. This is um, Mont Blanc. Irish green. And uh, this uh, is a very, very sort of dark green, but again, has a lot of character to it. And this pen is a Mont Blanc. 146. Mont Blanc. Irish green. All right, next up, we're going to move to a red ink. And this one is um, um, in a vintage pen. So this is uh, J. Herban Rouge Granat. I believe that means garnet red. And this is a vintage pen, an inexpensive vintage pen, a wherever. Pennant. So this is a student grade pen from the 1950s or so. Um, uh, wherever made a lot of pens, a lot of mostly inexpensive pens. So um, J. Herban, Rouge, Granat. All right, next is a classic. Use it, uh, not the most useful ink in the world because it's sparkly, but it's really good for this time of year for addressing Christmas cards and whatnot. So this is, of course, J. Herban. Emerald of Chivor. And this uh, has, this is an emerald green that dries with uh, sparkles in it. So it's really, really pretty, pretty nice. And this is a Jinhao X750, but it does have a Goulet stub nib. J. Herban Emerald of Chivor. Next, another red ink and a really nice red uh, pen. So this uh, pen, this ink is, this is a numbered ink. So this is a pen BBS ink. And it is number 276, which is called Chengdu. Oops. Chengdu Red. Very, very nice shade of red from Pen BBS. And this is um, in a special limited edition pen. So this is a Pen BBS number four, oh, ah, number four, five, six. But it is the Taste the Rainbow limited edition uh, that was meant for members of the pen bbs fan group on facebook so that's that pen right there all right next up is a really really nice um sort of light colored um green ink so this is uh, some sometimes some people think it's a little too light to really use but uh, i've actually put it in highlighters as well um, so this is j herban Vert Pre. So it's a very, very light green, but I, I like it. And it's in a Visconti breeze. This is one of my favorite pen ink pairings that I have. It's not like an exact match, but I just think they go well together really, really nicely. 
All right, next up is uh, one of my absolute favorite pens with a great ink in it. So this is um, Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby. And this pen is a Pelican M1005 Strazimon. Um, great pen, huge nib. Look at the size of that nib. Great nib. Flagship size pen from Pelican. Next is up a smaller Pelican pen, but still a very nice one. And the ink in it is a green ink, so it's simply Pelican. Dark green. Or Dunkelgrün, as they call it in German. And um, this is a Pelican. M600. There we go. Next up is uh, another red, really nice red. This is a, this is um, Diamine Poppy Red. This one always reminds me of like a teacher's correction pen kind of, uh, kind of uh, red ink. And this is a Jinham Model 75. which has a nice little, some red trim on it, which makes it match quite nicely. Next up, we're back to another green ink. And this is a really, really uh, nice, uh, nice green. This is uh, Twisby. Prairie green. Twisby just recently got into the ink business, so um, they've done a pretty nice job at these. And this is a uh, Moonman M8. Very nice pen, really pretty finish, really nice material, Moonman M8. Next up is another uh, Wherever pen, but this is Wherever is one of their few gold nib pens. So this is their sort of higher end Wherever pen with Waterman ink in it, so this is Waterman. Audacious Red. And um, one thing that this has that both wherever pens had, which is sort of their trademark, is the sort of transparent feed. And this does have a 14 karat gold nib, so this is a wherever pacemaker. All right. There you go. Next up is, uh, is a pen that, uh, uh, and an ink that I just recently did a full video on. So this ink is Birmingham. Green Weenie. And uh, this is a Hero. Uh, nine eight one dash two. It's a white pen, a little bit unusual. Really nice ink, Birmingham green weenie. Next up is a pen with a review video will be coming shortly on this pen. This is a um, well. Let's talk about the ink first. So this ink is Robert Oster Astorquiza. wrote and um, this pen is a high from Heinz pen and this is called the American graffiti and this does have a Bach double broad nib and uh, this is a very nice pen, and uh, there'll be a review video on this one coming up shortly. Next up is uh, my favorite pen from Pen BBS with a great Pen BBS ink in it. So this is, uh, again, these all have numbers, these inks. So this is Pen BBS number 159, which is also called Bitter Herb. 
and uh, this pen is a pen BBS 500, which I believe I can safely say is my favorite pen BBS pens. I pretty much like them all, but that is probably my favorite. All right, next up is um, a great pen ink combination that just match super nice. So this is J Herban Rouge Bourgogne and this pen is um, a platinum 3776 century and this is in the Bourgogne or Burgundy finish so this just matches perfectly. All right, last but not least is again another ink from Birmingham and another pen and ink that I just reviewed fairly recently. So this is Birmingham Arugula. And this pen is a Jinhao number 500. All right, there we go. That's a bunch of green and red inks. Uh, for our Christmas uh, extravaganza. I certainly um, wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And we will be back uh, right after Christmas with yet another uh, video and we're gonna, just gonna keep on going. But one thing that will help me keep on going is if you folks could all please like comment, share, and subscribe. That would just be outstanding across the board. And like I said, have a Merry Christmas, have a happy and a healthy New Year. Stay good, stay well, and until we see each other again, bye-bye.